Hey guys, welcome back. In this session, we will discuss example of request specification. So last session, we have discussed why we use request specification, but we did not discuss the example. So let's see how we can use request specification. Okay. So let me create a uh, one another test. So public void and validate status status code request spec okay so we can write the same thing and we will re return the request specification so we have a given right then we have a, a base uri given sorry i think i missed the spelling given <laughs> then we have a base uri dot base uri and if you are new in the channel please watch my previous session so we have already discussed you know this regarding the postman uh, api and how to do the manual validation for all and how to create a api and also we had already discussed in the last session so you guys can uh, go and you can just visit the previous video as well so we'll get more clarity than header <sighs> So inside this header, we will pass our key value. So all the data I'm going to take my previous, uh, you know, test we have automated already. So this is your header part. Now, you know, we will use here, you know, uh, okay. So I'll come on that. Okay. So now here, um, uh, okay. So. We have a header after header i have used a spec i will tell you what is the use of a spec class okay so the spec method then we have a uh given so given uh sorry we will use when so when we are using the get, we didn't start at the post. So we having the many scenario related to get. And this all the things you guys can apply with the another method as well. Okay. So in the coming session, we will discuss this all the things. Then we will use then get then then given when then right. Then then we will use log. Okay log dot all so this login picture we have discussed the separate in the separate videos you can watch this then we have a assert that then we have a, a status code okay a status code 200 okay so you could see here uh, this all the things you know if, if you will go for this ppt you can see this all the things we will capture you can store we can store this given url header so basically what we are doing in the request specification like if, if you could see many things we having the common for the request right validation right like you could see the base uri is your common then headers are common we will store in one variable and we can reuse this okay okay so i am doing the same thing so what i can do here i will return here so we have a request a specification okay request a specification and just i'm writing request a specification so request a specification is your interface you could see so here i'm going to end this and this aspect you know i will return this variable okay so let me copy this i'll paste it here okay so in this method you could see 
we have written uh, a spec uh, got it right so okay so what basically we are trying to do by using the request specification you could see here these are the common things right when you are writing given so we have a base uri then you have a api keys like you are using the header or many things are there which is common right so in this test case i am using at the red test right so i am writing in the same but what is the use of this so you can reuse this right so if this steps we will write inside this as a class level right so this is your class level variable and you can keep in any before uh, method or before class right so what will happen again you should not write this all the steps in the every test cases so next example i will discuss the same how we can reuse this by using the request specification so simply request a specification is your interface and you can see here <clears throat> this all the things we have a store inside this request a specification so we have a one method called a spec method so you can see here what a spec method will do at the request data as a predefined and you could see here right so directly we can pass here this uh, variable and we can reuse this right so this is you know why we use the request specification so let me execute this code and let's see how it is it is working so do one thing this previous test case <sighs> okay so i'll just uh, run this so again i will discuss one more example in my next uh, uh, session video so from there we will use before method uh you know and we can make one separate uh you know method and we can directly use this you should not write uh this information for every test cases right so we can make it the common and reusable you can see now it is working fine and you could see this all the information we are getting and it is working fine right and we are getting two not zero and our test case is passed so that's all in this video guys so next video uh, we will refactor this code and we can uh, make the another example and we can use you know before class or before uh, method and how we can make it this reusable this all the things so that's all in this video guys so if you are new in the channel please share subscribe and press bell icon to get new video notification thank you so much See you in the next video bye bye